What is going on guys, DBG here. And today we're gonna to be discussing whether pay to win, pay to use Cade Cunningham was really that bad in NBA 2K23, my team lads. So again, you're not gonna see the most energy in this video. I am freaking exhausted. I'm up finishing this video, I'm uploading this, and I'm going straight to bed. Um, I'm going straight to bed, I'll lie down, I'll do a little bit of editing for a couple of hours, and then get to bed at like probably 11, 12 o'clock, and probably can't get for 12 hours, considering I barely slept the last day because I was in hospital. But anyway, lads, when it comes to Cade Cunningham, the way that this card was achieved was a, basically you had to buy cards. You had to either gamble or buy cards. And you can see here it's 15,000 VC. You can buy any of these old cards um, if you want them original owner right now for 15k VC. But lads, there is one big issue with this and I still stand by my original point that it was either pay money or gamble. And like there was no option to earn it through playing the game. You might be saying, oh, but you can earn it through in-game MT. Yeah, but that, that's gambling. I don't think a player, a person should be forced. I think the video games work best when, for both parties, for all parties involved, when someone can pay to have a little bit of a shortcut, where they but they can't pay to win. They can pay money to kind of take time away from it, to um, eliminate the factor of time. As well as that, um, I like when you can pay specifically for cards. I really, I think that it was one thing away from being a near perfect concept. And you might be saying like, what is that one thing? So these are 15,000 VC. The one thing that would have made this a near perfect concept was offering like 30,000 MT. And like 30,000 MT is crazy by the way. Like it is absolutely crazy for these cards. Because you know how much that is for fifty, like it's four hundred and fifty k MT for, um, for K. It's probably worth it. I'm not gonna It's probably worth it. Um, that would have solved absolutely everything, um, because it meant that people actually grinded up their MT, didn't have to gamble to have a chance of getting them. And my big issue with it is that it's not just a random card. So, like, there are countries. I'm pretty, con I'm pretty sure where you can't get these cards. And one of the big issues again with the Evan Fournier one was like, you couldn't, you could get the card in France. I'm trying to think, Belgium where you couldn't get them. But like, I think there was, was there a situation in like Germany? I don't know, if they kept it up when they released Germany packs, we wouldn't have been able to get Germany packs in Germany. It was a really weird, it was a weird one like that. Maybe I'm wrong again, I'm, I could be misremembering. But like that was a mad situation. And I think that their idea was sound and um, being like, okay, we want to offer players a way to get the cards straight away. Because a lot of people were saying that the best way to combat this was by getting rid of original owner, but that doesn't solve anything. That means you just buy the card at Amethyst and Evo and want the diamond. Like that doesn't, that defeats the purpose of the whole point of Cade being a grind. The issue that I had with it and taking away from original owner causes another problem. Um, I don't think that making people pay 450,000 MT is driving, instead of anything, is driving anything away from VC. Um, do I think in 45 of just the normal shades of packs, could you get, um, if there are 30,000 MT, could you get lucky in 45 shades of packs pulled to 15 cards? I think you could. I genuinely do think you could. I think you'd probably take more because you get duplicates, but then you can sell those for MT and buy more of the packs. Like I, I genuinely do think that with 450k there's a chance, but it doesn't matter if there's a chance because it, it adds to the gambling aspect of this game. And I just feel that, that look, I think they did a good thing by allowing people to buy, to put actual money and instead of having to gamble with their own money to be able to get cards. However, on the flip side, there I felt like they were almost forcing people to gamble if you didn't want to put in real money. And the fact that most people that don't put in real money, a lot of people don't put in real money into the game, are young people. I was kind of almost forcing those young people if they want to get paid to gamble. So I felt like it was a really, really dodgy situation. I felt like it was really pretty bad. 
Um, we've all kind of just accepted it right now. And obviously I made a video when it happened. Ty made a video a week later um, about it being the biggest thing, a big problem in the game. I do think it's a really big problem. And also these shades of cards, weeks one and two are still, Bankero and Sohan are still maybe invested these. And well, Dice is pretty good. Bankero, Sohan, like this week suck. This week's legitimately suck. Um, but yeah, basically when it comes to these packs, I hope that they don't pull a stunt like this next season. If they want to make a grind, an Evo grind every single Tuesday for the rest of the year, I'll actually welcome that. But not this VC only crap. And again, I got to make this video. I'll make the video on the Clips channel, which, I mean, nothing I post on the Clips channel is going to make any freaking difference, lads. Like, if I post this on the main, it might. The Clips channel, absolutely none. But at the end of the day, um, this is something that they just can't pull this stunt again. Do I think this is as egregious as the Evan Fournier situation? No, I don't. I think the, the initial Evan Fournier situation was maybe one of the lowest things we've ever seen 2K do, but they rectified that straight away. And there are not many things I take credit for. I didn't even take credit for Pat Burke, mainly because I know for a fact that I wasn't the reason why. I'll take credit for Dunktober Jokic. I'll take credit for Dean Wade getting a fan favorites card. And I'll take credit for us make, getting Evan Fournier on TTO boards. But, yeah. Um, as far as things that were negative this season, um, I don't think this helped. I don't think the entire K grind really helped. But, I don't think it really harmed. And the hyper shades have dropped very quickly. And these went from being ultra hyped to like not hyped at all. And I do think that in general, had more player, had this been a, ex, more accessible to more players, people would have more hyped for Cade leading up to today. And we would have seen probably a lot more people going for this card. We'd see a lot more Cades out there. But because again, it was gay kept behind a paywall, we saw a lot less of it. And look, I think it was just missed the mark. And again, I will always say that is that I don't, I think that 2K23, so I think it'll be a good year because the more I like objectively look back at things, it's like almost, they they just missed the mark. That it's like right idea executed badly. And I know there's only so many times you can say, oh, but like right idea executed badly happens all the time. It just constantly happens to 2K. And I, I agree. I do agree. And um, that it has over the last few years, a lot of times has been right idea executed badly. But outside of like end game, like season eight, the last two years have been awful. Like Endgame was awful, and so was game. So was the freaking ring season. Um, I think a lot of the time when they try to completely think outside the box, it normally is a great idea executed poorly when they think outside the box. But normally, a second, third, four times they try to think outside the box, they do clearly learn from any mistakes they've. Uh, they do a lot of time learn from any mistakes they've made. And normally try to make it a little bit better. But yeah. Yeah. That is the video, lads. I am absolutely exhausted. You guys probably hear I'm nearly falling asleep. Um, I'll wake up tomorrow morning early and make a tearless video. Um, I'm so damn tired. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.